Hello guys, welcome back to another spectacular video. Tonight we are doing Pennywise Without Makeup from It Chapter 2 of Super Duper Dope. I wanted this pop for a while because I really like, I, just, I don't know, I wanted a Pennywise pop with no makeup. I just thought that would be kind of cool. Um, and yeah, that's what I ended up really getting him for. He was about 12.50 when I first purchased him, Super Duper Dope. Let's take a look at the back of the box before we open him up right here. Look at, look at his face. Look at his face up there. Look at his face up there. You can see there's the Pennywise without makeup that we'll be un unboxing tonight. There's Pennywise Meltdown, and then there's the shopkeeper who is Stephen King. Let's take a look at the Pennywise Meltdown one. Oh, I see. Yeah, actually, so that, that this is closer to the pop that I made for myself. Um, I'll tell you how I made it a little bit later, but yeah, this is the one that I kind of made for myself, the kind of meltdown one version of him with, like, makeup going everywhere and stuff. Um, how I made him, though, was I actually made him with the penny, like, the regular Pennywise body from um, it, uh, and so I, I thought it looked, turned out really well. I might show you him in a future video. Um, I, I'm, I, I like the way he looked. I like the way he turned out, but yeah, let's get right into this. Here we go. This is going to be Pennywise without makeup. All right, guys, here he is out of this box. It is the one and only Pennywise without makeup. I had to get this pop because I, like, for a long time, I've just wanted a Pennywise pop without makeup. Like, I just wanted him, like, in his regular, like, look, you know, um, um, closer to Bill Skarsgård's look. And um, I was waiting and waiting for that pop to drop. And so finally, when he did drop, I was like, cool. I even made my own version of Pennywise uh, with like the makeup and stuff on. It wasn't the best, but I liked that pop. I actually ended up like just putting him in his, his clown suit uh, with the boat, I believe, in his hand. And I just like, I got like a sting pop from, yeah, sting actually from the police. And I just ended up like just using sting as his head and it worked perfectly actually like I, like i said i don't hate that pop that i created myself i quite like it because i made it myself and i knew exactly the vision i was going for okay and then let me show you him close up look at those teeth look at those teeth look at those teeth very very cool you can see he's got the pocket watch i'm hearing there will be another it film coming out i've heard this for like two years now that there's going to be a, a kind of a prequel and possibly even a sequel i'm not sure what they're going to do um with with the story of pennywise I mean, with the cast and how amazing he was uh, uh bill in this role i think he's bill right there's alexander and there's bill i think he's bill scars i'm not quite sure if i'm saying your name wrong i'm so sorry but he's one of the scars guards but he did a great job with his performance and i just think it would be a total shame and a loss not to kind of get into the story of pennywise but i mean also i wouldn't want them to ruin the franchise either because you know the first one was was solid and the second film wasn't bad either um so i really wouldn't want them to kind of like do something that's just like unnecessary to the story so i mean leaving it alone i guess wouldn't be a bad idea either but I, i'm not really sure I, I don't i don't know what do you guys think let me know in the comments if you think another film is necessary or it, even if it's not necessary do you think it would be good Oh, there he is doing his famous spin. But yeah, like I just, I could not believe the success of, I mean, I can believe it because like I said, the first one was really, really good um, of the newer films. And honestly, I love that the 1990 um, uh, uh, special with, with Tim Curry, that will always be my favorite it. Why, you might ask, because I love the relationship between the adult actors and the child actors and how they switch back and forth. Like throughout the throughout the movie, I really enjoyed that part of of that movie and I, I I really loved it like I was terrified of it when I was a child but when I got older like a teenager I started to really respect that movie um just because of just the, like I said it was the friendships for me that really nailed it and watching the newer films um I have nothing against the the, the chapter two I thought actually a lot of fans seemed to really not care for chapter two as much as chapter one which I understand that because chapter two is more about them overcoming their fear of Pennywise and so like I thought chapter two was going to be much worse than it was, and trust me, there were there were elements of chapter two that I'm like, oh my god, like this is this is so dark, and this is terrible, um, like this is just so sad. But like at the same time, there was a lot that I appreciated about chapter two, uh, too. So it was I don't know, like it was it, both films are are really enjoyable, and like I said, the 1990 special I really did like that a lot. I love the miniseries. Um, I think everyone did their jobs very very well, and obviously it was a film that stood the test of time you know and that's one thing i can say about the the the, the 1990 uh tv series miniseries you can say what you want about it but it definitely was something that was a standout and like i said it definitely did stand the test of time in people's memory and then when this came out i think it just i think they definitely took elements of what that made that successful and did it with this film too and they were able to go bigger than than before um and and honestly what they did with the tv special back then was really cool a lot of tv specials are not really well and i not really well done and i think that everybody came together to give a great performance i think tim curry did a masterful performance um as pennywise in that so definitely um something comfortably iconic 
in pop culture history, no mistake. All right, here's Pennywise with no makeup back to center, looking super duper cool. Um, yeah, really cool. He was actually not a Hot Topic exclusive. This is one that isn't a Hot Topic exclusive. He was just available to buy. And you can get him, I think, with makeup as well. And you can also get like the Stephen King pop that he makes an appearance in the film as well if you haven't seen it chapter two. So really, really cool stuff that came out with this particular line of the Funkos. I remember what it was like for me to get all of the kids from chapter one and then get Pennywise. And I think I wanted the adult versions of them as well, but that those never came out. Like it was just, chapter two was just strictly giving us Pennywise pop. So, um, but I mean, I guess that worked out, sure. But yeah, really cool. Guys, thank you so much for all of your likes, your follow, subscribe, thank you for sharing. If you are not sub to the channel yet, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, ring that bell for notifications, and leave me a nice big like on this video. It lets me know you guys like all the work I'm coming up with. I will see you guys very, very soon. I'm gonna be dropping at least like maybe five to six videos in the next two days. There's gonna be a lot of things coming. Do not feel overwhelmed or pressured to watch them all at one time. Take it at your own pace. Watch them in a couple of days, in a couple of weeks, in a couple of months, in a couple of years, even if you want to. You do not have to watch every single video that I put out as soon as I put them out, but I appreciate some of you, the ones that do, and I appreciate even the ones that don't. Thank you guys so much for all of that. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.